Ah. 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 I hope I'm not like the only one who does this, who like, you know, tries to get used to being on camera. It feels, it's not that it's like, it's not weird being on camera, it's just weird. Like for me, it's getting my voice right. If that makes sense, I don't know. It's, I guess it's weird. Mm, that helps. What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm bringing you another video. Today, the topic is how to get more views on your YouTube videos. Okay, so before I get ahead of myself, let me just kind of throw this out there. Um, as you guys know, I'm not huge on YouTube at all. Like, I'm not big on YouTube whatsoever. One thing I can tell you is that I do have more views for certain videos as opposed to others. And first things first, like even though I don't have many subscribers, I want to say thank you to the people who are subscribed to me because it shows that you took the time out to click that button, that subscribe button, because you enjoy the content that I am putting out for you and I appreciate that a lot. I also have to say that even though I'm putting a lot of time and effort into making these videos, it doesn't mean like there's no guarantee that I have to get all of these, you know, subscribers or likes or views coming in. Um, nobody's guaranteed anything. Uh, but it's nice, again, even though I just have 39 subscribers at this moment right now, it's nice to know that every single one of you took the time out to actually hit that subscribe button. And I just wanna say thank you. Moving on um, with the topic at hand, I do have a few ideas on how to get more views for your YouTube videos. Starting with number one, uh, create content that people are searching for, especially content within your field. So whether it be you're into skateboarding and you post skateboarding videos, post those types of videos. Don't just switch it around and then randomly make a, a coffee video because your viewers really aren't gonna be searching for something like that or people who don't, you know, don't follow you aren't gonna be searching for something like that. An example would be me personally, how I do the camera review. Um, I actually got a lot more views on doing the camera review because a lot of people were searching for that. So I did a Canon uh, EOS R review and uh, that video has more views than any of my videos that I uploaded, which is really cool. Um, what's also cool is that the fact that I have 39 subscribers and the video actually got over 80 something views, which is gonna be obviously more than my subscribers, which I thought was, you know, absolutely really cool. Like that was fantastic. But it goes to show if you title certain things or make certain videos and title it a certain way, um, that will be bring, excuse me, that will bring more attraction towards your videos as opposed to others. And uh, that actually leads into number two, which is title the videos based off of things that you personally search for. An example would be um, how-to videos are huge. Like I use Adobe Premiere whenever I am editing my videos. Um, I switched over from Final Cut and now I'm in Adobe Premiere and I actually like it a lot. Um, but there were so many things that I needed to look up because Adobe Premiere is completely new to me. So what I did was how to do this. I would look it up in YouTube. How to add audio to your, your video in Premiere Pro. There's videos for that. So you can do these types of videos and title it that certain way based off of the things that you search because obviously those people are making those videos that you are looking for. So how-to videos are huge when it comes down to getting views. The third one, which is by far like my favorite, um, hold on. Ooh. I have another donut hole. Ew, there's a hair. Don't judge me. That's pretty gross, but I love donuts, so I don't know. what are you gonna do? Okay, moving on to the third one, which is by far my personal favorite. Be yourself. You know, be yourself because there's a lot of inspiration that comes from doing videos. Like if you, you know, are subscribed to other people, you follow other people's work, 
and it motivates you. I, don't get me wrong. I 100% agree. I, I understand that. It motivates you to do more videos and do things that are similar to what they're doing because obviously you're following them for a reason. You're interested in what they have to say and what they have to do. But don't be them. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. Like, I'm not gonna try to get on camera and be Peter McKinnon or Maddie Hijoba or uh, Danny Gewurz, which I just recently started following Danny Gewurz. Um, really cool stuff that he has to offer on his channel. And I think he himself is like a perfect example of being himself. You know, people want originality, okay? They don't wanna see you being Tr or trying to be another person, especially being a person that you're not. Be original. People see through the BS. Like, people aren't dumb. They can spot a copycat, okay? So, my advice is just be yourself. Like, 100%. Be yourself because it makes things so much better and it brings more quality to your videos because you're not trying to be somebody that you're not. Moving on to number four. Yes, four. I did say number three is my favorite, but number four isn't my favorite, but it's my favorite thing to do after and during making the videos. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it's improving your video quality, which is, you know, upgrading some type of equipment, whether it be lighting, whether it be your camera, um, whether it be the software that you use to edit your videos. When you improve the quality of your videos, it brings a lot more quality. <laughs> now there should be another word for it. No, it shows that you put time and effort into making your videos, which brings up the quality. That's what I wanted to say. You care about your videos and you care about what you put out there, which means that you care about what the people have to think. You care about what the people see from the videos because you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for them. You wanna make sure that there's a quality to it. You wanna make sure that there's value to what you're bringing you know, in your videos. The last one, I think it goes without saying, um, patience. Like it just, it goes without saying, you have to be patient and you will start seeing the views come in. Um, I would say consistency is key because the more you post, the better. You can't just, you know, post one video and then act like you're gonna blow up, you know, the next night. It just, it doesn't happen like that. It sucks to say that, but being consistent helps out a lot. And not only do I wanna be consistent just to get more views for my videos, I wanna be consistent because here's the number one reason. I love what I do, right? There's a huge difference in loving what you do as opposed to doing it because you want a, you want to see a certain number, right? I love what I do and I love the fact that I have my 39 subscribers, which is great because it's 39 is better than 38. 39 is better than 37. It's better than none. Those 39 subscribers are looking at what I do and um, I wanna be consistent not only for myself because I love what I do, but I wanna share the things that I love to do with you guys. Thank you for watching the video and uh, I'll see you guys soon.